Hi, I'd like to share with you a little of the background and the history of Masters International University of Divinity. I'm Dennis Fry, and I'm the president. In 1996, a group of academics to, with myself in the lead put together about a dozen or more courses on something that was very new. It was called the Information Superhighway, or the World Wide Web. These courses in text format could be downloaded and taken by anyone who could get on the internet anywhere in the world. It was very new, but it gained popularity very rapidly. And by 1999, we had students in many different world areas. And so the decision was made to form a board and create a brand new online theological distance education institution that we named Master's Divinity School and Master's Graduate School of Divinity. Obviously, the master's is for the master. He said, you call me master and lord, and you say, well, for so I am. From 1999 until 2007, God sent to us so many students from around the world that we began to think about the need for a name change. And that change was to Master's International School of Divinity. We created a video that explained a little bit about the history of the school, where we were, where we were going, what we were about, and we're going to show that video to you now. It's considered an important archive in our historical records. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. Oh, by the way, one thing hasn't changed, and that is the type of student that God sent to us then is the type that he has sent to us since then. You may find someone in there that reminds you of yourself. So God bless you as you watch the video. I believe it'll be an encouragement to you. And when it's over, I'll come back and share with you a little bit about where we are and where we're going. Masters International School of Divinity. In John 13:13, 13, 13, Jesus said, Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. That is why it is. Masters International School of Divinity, an institution belonging to the Master, existing for the purpose of educating and preparing individuals for Christian service. In a historical way, the term divinity school reflects an old and distinguished tradition. In a contemporary way, because of the power of technology and the benefits of distance education, we are an international school of divinity, with headquarters conveniently located in Evansville, Indiana, often called the crossroads of the United States. We are educating students living in 70 different world areas, from America, Samoa, to Zimbabwe. Uh, I was struggling in my ministry but when I started this program with Masters, it changed my ministry. I saw miracles and signs and wonders began to happen in my ministry because I was taught how to preach the Word of God with boldness and with confidence. Most people walk up to me and they ask me, where are you learning all this? Which school do you attend? And I usually tell them, I go to Evansville, there's a school there, anyone can get into it if you're serious and want to work hard. So I'm so pleased to be part of this, and I'm so happy that I'm graduating today as a doctorate student. I came to uh, Masters because of the excellent, conservative, Bible-based teaching, and there's not too many of those nowadays. I've been totally impressed with Masters and the programs they offer, the different degrees they offer, and it has been a joy coming to school here. Masters is a freestanding, Christ-centered, and Bible-based institution of Christian higher learning, serving students from across the church spectrum. This is a divinity school for working adults. Our average student is 44 years of age because we're an open learning institution, providing courses that can be completed online and through short intensive seminars, men and women of God around the world are able to study at home and at their own pace making it possible to receive an education that might otherwise be out of their reach. Masters has made it possible for me to achieve this degree where because of the demands of ministry and pastoring, I never would have had the opportunity to stop and go to school. I thank them for it. I praise God for it. And uh, it has definitely changed my life. I thank God for Masters. I've always volunteered in the community in counseling areas, but this spiritually based training has helped me so much more in order to reach others with the word of God 
and the Savior Jesus Christ. Whether studying at the undergraduate, graduate, or doctoral level, our programs appeal to the mature and self-disciplined individual who is primarily interested in the everyday realities of Christian ministry. Because of our conservative biblical position, we especially appeal to those who are committed to the historic beliefs shared by the evangelical community. Well over 1,000 graduates from circling the globe are serving at all levels of Christian ministry. They chose masters because educationally and spiritually, we provided a program of study that met the needs of their calling. Hello, I'm Dr. Dennis Fry, president of Masters. I know that those who are called to serve on the spiritual battlefield of our day need every advantage available. The worldly pressures being exerted upon the church call for spiritually and doctrinally sound leadership. That's why I believe that continuing ministry training that is biblically sound and centered on the Lord Jesus Christ is not merely an option, but a serious responsibility. If you believe such a responsibility is drawing you to consider further ministry education, I hope that you will give us an opportunity to show you how a program at Masters may be right for you. Whether you become a student or join us as a donor, you can have the confidence of knowing that Masters International School of Divinity is committed to innovation in theological distance education while remaining uncompromisingly prepared to earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you with the riches of His grace. Masters International School of Divinity. Well, I hope it was a blessing to you, and I do hope you saw someone in there that reminded you of yourself. In 2000 16 we had another change in our name we dropped the word school and added the word university so we became masters international university of divinity and that's where we will stay i don't think we're going to have another name change it's a long name but it tells a lot about our institution it's an institution belonging to the master we serve as students wherever they may be in the world as long as they can get on the internet we are a university with distinct schools, five distinct schools that operate under the umbrella of masters, but we are a divinity institution. In other words, we teach about the Word of God and subjects related to practical Christian ministry. Now, another thing that's not changed about us and will not as we move forward, and that is that we are Christ-centered and Bible-based. We believe in the inerrancy of the Word of God. We don't know where technology is going to take us in the future. Things are changing very rapidly. In fact, just using the term World Wide Web, our information superhighway, seems quaint now, but it hasn't been that long ago. As we move into the future, we intend to take every thought as the Apostle Paul taught us and make it captive to Christ. I believe we have a program that may be right for you, providing God is calling you on to further ministry education. In our main web page, you'll see at the top of every page a menu item. It says All Programs. Click that, and I believe you'll find a program that's just right for you. In the meantime, may God bless you in your ministry and the calling that he has called you to. Stay true to the Master, because he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. God bless you.